Let's recap the craziest news stories of the week. Jeff Plitt here. This is what you need to know. Here's something weird. In San Francisco, a startup company that tests your poop sample has been charged with a $60 million fraud scheme. Apparently the tests were supposed to check for 30 different chemical signatures and biomarkers, but instead they just mailed back a postcard that said, yep, that was poop. One thing's for sure, with the company going out of business, they'll be in far less deep shit than usual. In Thailand, a morbidly obese monkey nicknamed Godzilla has been sent to a fat camp after ballooning to twice its size. Hold on, how did you guys have a humongous monkey and not name it King Kong? Anyway, my team did some research and found they're currently training another monkey named Mothra to scare Godzilla back to fighting weight. In Toronto, a beaver walked into a subway station requiring officials to close it down. They followed standard procedure, which means they couldn't open the station until the beaver learned to say sorry. Here's something alarming. Several National Guardsmen were held at gunpoint recently by a guy who wanted the COVID vaccines they were carrying. Why does that guy look familiar? Oh, yeah, he looks just like foxhole Saddam Hussein. And modern day Mel Gibson. In Hermit Kingdom news, North Korea continues to build up its military and recently fired two missiles into the sea. Oh, I'm getting an update. A seriously pissed off tuna just destroyed their entire navy. Finally, in Spain, Parliament has passed a new law legalizing assisted suicide. Although it was pretty easy to do before, they just called it the running of the bulls. That's it for now. Please do not like, share, or subscribe. I want my videos to remain a secret, so don't share them with anyone else. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on What You Need to Know.